Hey, this is Tim. We'll show you how to make a spring. Go to create disk. Make our little disk. And what we want to do right now is we want to make a UV map for that. So we'll just go here and say new. And we'll call it spring. say create. I guess we don't have to say create, it's already created. So there's that. Now what we want to do is lathe it. The reason why we made the UV map right there is because when we lathe this we're gonna have it make UVs. Stay right there. So now it's making the UVs. <coughs> and we just rotated this up you can add more sides to fill it out. It's a little crooked right here, so we'll just start over or put that on its Z axis. Make that again. So, okay, we got our spring made. We like it. Now you see it's got all the UVs right there. So far all this is native stuff. And you can see the UVs go right up. How they follow right up and down. So now all you need to do is go to UV to weight. And we're going to use the spring UV map. And we'll call our weight weight map we'll call that uh, up and down or give it any name you want doesn't matter go along the U hit OK we go to weight shade and select our up and down weight map we now see that we have a nice weight map and if you hit the move tool and select the weight map you can go like this and it goes just nicely. So what you want to do then is just create a more map <coughs> and we'll call it down for lack of a better term. And we'll squeeze that down. There it is all compressed and then we'll say save object as and we'll go to our desktop and call it spring save send object layout get rid of this other crap here I was monkeying around with earlier and go to properties for the object P properties uh, hold on whoops let me get the window over here so you can see it and uh, add modifier go to morph mixer wherever it is there it is and we got our endromorph and boom we got our spring that we can animate pretty simple have any questions give me a shout later